We're at the bay window with the chickens. Good morning. It has been a few weeks since I've recorded anything. Life's gotten in the way. I just haven't had a chance to record, to edit, nothing. And the most recent video I did make, it turned out not very good. It just, it felt schizophrenic. It wasn't as instructive as I wanted it to be and just didn't do what I wanted it to do. So now here I am with no content to edit and upload and the season passing by before me, it is oh, about 45 degrees outside and gorgeous right now. So I want to tell you a little bit about our most recent project that we worked on. Since we bought the house, we knew that the sill on the bay window was rotten and we knew that we would have to replace it. I never had time last year and it was time. So we tore the all the trim off of the bay window and come to find out that there were two inches of styrofoam underneath the window but then a one inch gap above that and that was allowing a lot of cold air basically right into the house there was ice forming on the inside of the bottom of the bay window um, last winter so we tore the bottom out just to see what was there, figure out what we would need. And we tore the top of the bay window out. There was this old particle board that was used up top there and it was ugly and it didn't look good. So we tore all that out. We pulled out the old disgusting uh, fiberglass insulation and found a giant surprise in there as well. So that's the stuff of nightmares. Holy cow. That's all big wasp nest. So after we removed all that, we decided it was time for a Home Depot run. We came to Home Depot to get insulation and now we're in the fancy trim section. And it's totally my fault. Because now we have to make the window look pretty, not just. Oh, yeah. Foam, insulation and trim and stuff. So I bought a one inch thick sheet of pink styrofoam. I took that and set the white styrofoam on top of it to trace out, uh, to use it as a pattern, and basically took the pink styrofoam and just pushed it in above the white styrofoam to allow for three full inches of foam with no air gap at all. Um, I didn't catch any video of me actually getting the pink styrofoam in, and with the rest of the video it looks like there's nothing there and there's still a gap, but I promise you that pink styrofoam is in there. Yeti! And there's Yeti. After that, I cut some pieces of wood for sills, got those in, wasn't very good about filming any of that either, and then put the trim back on. Um, got all the trim on, cut the fancy trim as well. Yeah, that's pretty good. I had to work some angles on the miter saw to make that work because the uh, the bay window was cut at like seven or eight degree angles, I think now. And then got that part done. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh wait, there's one more. I thought it was all done. I got one more. Ha <laughs> now I'm done! Well, not exactly done. There's still more to do. Hi there, Trouble. But all the hardware is on and it looks really good. All right, now I gotta tackle that before the sun goes down. I was trying to figure out how to insulate the top of the bay window, and I didn't want just the fiberglass insulation. I wanted something more solid to start. I considered using the pink foam board that I bought there. It didn't seem, it wasn't gonna fit very well and I wasn't gonna get a good seal. So I opted instead to use a can of spray foam. And so I did a layer of spray foam and then put the new pink fiberglass insulation that I bought on top of it, packed it all in, cut new one by boards. Now it's out. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last mail. <laughs> last mail, woohoo! Um, siliconed everything up, and now we've got a nice new bay window. Top and bottom. I wonder if the design's gonna come through with the paint. Totally. 
You think so? Oh yeah, that's what you, you don't want it to go wah! You want it to go ooh! Heather painted, we primed first and then put exterior paint on. Now it's looking really great. Let's walk around and take a look. It's been two weeks since we put this in. So we've got this fancy trim. We were worried that the design wouldn't show through, but it seems to be doing just fine. It looks like there's a gap up top, but really there's not. That's all sealed with silicone. You just can't see it. Definitely way better. Certainly way better insulated. I hope it'll keep things a lot warmer in there this winter. So all told, we spent about $150 on the bay window. The most expensive things were the um, foam board insulation and the pink insulation. I have some left, but I'm gonna be using it for other projects around the house. Uh, so it will still get uh, put to good use. The trim was probably about 30 bucks. So we spent about $30 to make it pretty. Um, to be honest, that's always a little hard for me because I, I don't like to spend money. I mean, our deck, we have a total of about $250 in. Um, so re-insulating the bay window cost half of what we did this entire deck for. But the bay window really needed to be done. I bought some spray foam, I bought some silicone, and I bought a couple pieces of trim boards because I didn't have quite the right size and I didn't want to mess around with trying to mix and match. I figured it was best just to get a couple boards that were just the right size. Um, even still, I managed to mess that up a little bit and get one that wasn't quite wide enough. So there you have it. Thank you so much for hanging out on Four Acres. Remember, do the best you can with what you got, and we'll see you around. Don't eat the spray foam. Don't eat the spray foam. Psh, psh, psh. Hey, hey. It's not a worm. The R value of my chickens is amazing. Dog allowed to be on there with money paws. Oh, get off! Get off, bunker. That's not okay. Let's do it. <laughs> Go get a drink. <laughs>